Hey guys, MechanicCG here, welcome back to another video and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reviewing this Logitech G920 G29 shifter um, and we are going to be doing a couple of races. I'm going to actually do a personal comparison to see whether I am better as well with flappy panels or with the shifter itself. So we are going to go straight into some rallycross and give it a try. Right, so we are going to be starting off with the flappy panels first. Alright, good luck today. Give it your best. Let's give this a try. We're in the Ford Focus all the way on the end. Get ready. Let's give this a try. See how well this goes. Go, go, go. Perfect. It's a very good first corner there. Right, what I normally do is drop it down to fourth for this corner and then drop it down to third at the exit. And that gives us enough speed that we can be... Ooh, that was a very good corner there. Perfect. Okay, you're fighting for the win at the moment. Let's go fourth. Perfect. We're looking for the fastest overall time, but also the fastest lap as well. Here we go. Right, slow down. Perfect. Looks like we'll be racing for the win, but it's all drivers have taken that joker. Nice. The feedback is just right through those corners that allows you to hold. Perfect. Right, we're going to take the joker lap the next lap. This is where it always gets a little bit worrying. Because I'm not a great fan of the Joker in this track. There we go. We did that really well there. Very nice, very nice. I could take another Joker lap, but like, I don't want to. I'm trying to compare the speed. We are catching up though with the AI. We're much quicker than them. And they're on a difficult setting as well. Perfect. Right, drop it down to four. Nice. There's a certain speed that you can actually shift down. You can't shift down too quick. Otherwise, it just doesn't register it. Right, we're three quarters of the way through the entire race. Nice, perfect. Got a bit wide there.
36.6 is the fastest time so far. Right, let's see what time did we get. A 503.7 we need to be with this thing. You should be very happy with that. Job well done. It's a very good time. Right, so now what we're doing is we are going to be using the shifter, doing exactly the same race, and see if we can beat a 503.7, I think the time was. Let's do this. Ready? I have high hopes. I think I may actually take the joke from the first lap, get that out of the way. Three, go, go, go. Nice, right. Drop it down to fourth here. Drop it down to second. Up to third on the exit. Fourth, fifth. Oh, look at that slide there. Oh, we've gone a bit wide. Got a little bit wide there. Let's see if we can overtake the car in front of us. Oh, he's got light. There's a crash up ahead. Wasn't too difficult to get past that time. Right, drop it down to fifth, tap the brake, slides us around that corner. Nice. Tucking it to the inside of the corner there. Oh, I think I shifted a bit too soon there. Definitely hitting 100 miles an hour on these straights here. Oh, hit the inside of the curb there. Right, drop it down into fourth. that was. The time is looking very good. It's going to be close, that's for sure. Oh, let's go, Randy. Oh, Right there, that's messed our time up dramatically. Nice. Right, drop it down. 
down to fifth to this corner. Perfect. Up to sixth. Up to the final lap. Five oh two point nine, just slightly nice faster with that. We did great. That was very good. Right, so that's my comparison of racing without a shifter versus with a shifter, and I would say I would go over having a shifter any day of the week, just because it is so much more fun and more enjoyable. Just being able to drop it from sixth down to third is such a smooth experience, whereas with the paddles, it takes quite a while. So I would definitely, uh, if you are getting this wheel, definitely get it with a shifter because it is so much more enjoyable. Um, it's a more enjoyable experience. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>